In this video, we're going to go over how to use the attendance module in your Moodle course. This is exactly what it sounds like. It allows you to take the attendance of your students, and if you choose to do so, you can record that attendance in your gradebook. So I'm going to show you how you can set that up here in this video. And to start, what we want to do is turn our editing button on, and from the Add an Activity or Resource button here, we're going to click Attendance. So once we go inside of it, all we really have to do here is either change the name if we'd like. So if you want to keep it as attendance, you can. And I'm going to do that for this video. But you also want to take a look at the grade section here. Now, if you decide that you would like to grade your attendance, you want to make sure you choose the type here. So in this case, we choose points and our maximum grade is going to be 100. And if we have a category that we want to put this attendance into, we would choose it from the list here. I don't have a category created, but if for example, I had an attendance category created, I can choose that from this list here. And then all of those grades would go directly into the category into my gradebook. Now, if you choose not to grade your attendance, but you'd still like to use the module so that way you can keep track, all you have to do is under type, change it from point to none. That will then allow you to use this, but you won't have that affect the student's grade at all. So when you're all done, you're going to click Save and Return to Course. Now there's a few things that we need to do to set this up. We're going to go directly into the module by clicking on Attendance, and we want to first click on Add Session. Now this is going to have us set up when our classes are, when the times are, if there are more than one, and this way we'll be able to take attendance for every class that we have. So we're going to choose the date in which the class is. So maybe we'll start it on February 15th. And under time, now this is going to be Army time. So you want to keep that in mind when you're putting in your time here. So for me, I'm just going to do 830. And I'm going to make it go until 10 o'clock. Just picking any time here. If you'd like to put a description here, you can. I'm not going to do that for this video, but you are more than welcome to if you would like to. Now, obviously, if you're going to be using this activity, you want to create an attendance slot for every single session that you have. So after you create this initial slot, you're going to go into the multiple sessions section and set that up. So we're going to check off repeat the session above as follows. And now we're going to choose all the days in which this class takes place. So let's say it takes place on Monday and Wednesday. It's repeated every week and we want to put a date that this would stop. So let's say we're going to choose May 1st. Then when you're done, you're going to click on add. And that will then add all of the sessions that you would need when you're ready to take attendance. You'll see it has all of the dates that are here, the time of the class, all students under type, and it's a regular class session. Now, one more thing I want to show you in regard to setting up the attendance module is to click on status set. Now you can see that by default, there are a few things here and it says the description and how many points that student will get depending on whatever their description is. So by default, we have present remote, present in person, which means the student is here, but they're a remote student. The student is here, but they're in person. And there's also late, excused and absent. If you don't want to use any of these, so let's say for example, I want to remove the excused option here. I can go over to it, click on the trash can, and that will get rid of that status example. Here under description, although you do have the ability to change these presets, please do not do that in order to facilitate proper COVID contact tracing. When you're all set, you're going to click on update and that will set up the status set for this specific attendance activity. Now that you have everything all set and ready to go, you could go back to your main page and you're ready to take attendance. So we're going to click inside of attendance and you're going to go next to the first class. So we have here, February 15th, and we're going to click on the little play button under actions. And then you'll see all of our students that are enrolled in our class. And we could choose whether they're here remotely or here in person and so on. So here, let's say for the first student, we can say that they're present remote. And you can see the acronyms that we set up are here as well. We can say present in person, late, absent. We can also add a remark if we wanted to say, please see me after class or something along those lines. Or you can also set a status for everybody. So let's say you had a complete list of all remote students. You could set the status all as present remote. 
and that would change that to everybody and it makes it a little bit easier for you so you don't have to do individually one-on-one. -on -one. When you're all set, you would click save attendance and then that would set that for you. As you can see, using the attendance module does take a little bit of setting up, but once it's all ready to go, you'll be all ready for the rest of the semester.